the peaceful valley. You are about to experience a profoundly deep level of relaxation, where you will feel a wonderful calmness, serenity, and meditative state of mind. To begin this journey into a land of beauty and legend, find a time and a place where you can relax and be alone. If such times are hard for you to find in this busy world, you may choose to do this just before you go to sleep. Sit or lie down and make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes and relax. Understand that this time is for you and you alone. You don't need to do anything except relax and allow yourself to have this time. Breathe in deeply, feeling the clean, fresh air entering your lungs. Now, exhale hot, tense air. Now take another deep breath, allowing your entire body to relax as you feel the cool, refreshing air entering your lungs. Exhale fully. And now, just breathe normally. As you find yourself feeling more and more relaxed, I'm going to count down to one. As I count each number, you will feel more and more relaxed. By the time I reach one, you will have reached a sense of complete calm and will be completely serene. Here we go. Eight. 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 Feel any tension begin to leave your body. Seven. 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 Each number drops from you like a pebble, taking away any stresses or strains. Six. Feeling more relaxed. Five. 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 Four. Feeling a sense of peace and contentment. Three. Your thoughts are getting calmer and calmer. One. 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 
experience the wonderful sense that is deep relaxation. The darkness dissolves slowly and you see that you are standing on a stone pathway. You are barefoot and the stone is weathered. It feels warm under your feet from baking in the sun's summer rays. Each side of you, trees clamber and clutch at rocky soil, heather blooms bright and mountain flowers nod softly in a mild wind. Gorse bushes smoke with a scent like honey candles, and from far up you can hear the thin piercing cry of some great bird of prey. The sound draws your eyes upward. Far in the distance, snow-crowned mountains blaze white against a dark blue sky. You begin to walk. The path dips between boulders worn by time and furred by moss and lichen. Small birds pipe from the trees and wildflowers patch small glades of grass. The mountains slowly dip behind a rocky outcrop, and you can hear the sound of water. After a short time, you arrive at its source and stop. A stream set high in the hills pours down and blocks your path with a curtain of glittering water. It catches and flashes in the sunlight like gold glass, and you know you must pass through it to find what lies on the other side. You expect the water to be icy cold, but when you stand under it, it feels less like water than a rain of light that absorbs into your skin and washes you from the inside out. The last traces of any stresses or strains you may be feeling are cleansed and washed away. Take one step forward out of the glittering curtain, and you find yourself perfectly dry. Then you stand in amazement. The great, steep-sided valley that opens before you is inhabited. Beautiful buildings of white and gold stone with wide balconies are cut through with waterfalls. 
Some are slender as ribbons, others wide and powerful. Soaring steps and slim ridges of stone connect houses and mansions built by hands that melded beauty and strength into one. Tall urns spill green ferns and scented flowers. There is a scent of honeysuckle, lavender, roses and cut grass under the warm sun. Statues of warriors clasping tall spears stare as once their living images stared over ancient battles against the dark. But there is no war or darkness in this place, only the distant memories of it. From somewhere comes a drift of music, but you cannot find its source. You walk slowly, following a path of shaped white stone between low white walls garlanded with flowers. You can sense that there are others here, but cannot see anyone. Nevertheless, you clearly know that you have been seen and are welcome. You pass a garden planted with old fruit trees. A fountain in the shape of cupped hands allows water to flow into a shallow bowl. You cross the soft short grass and cup your own hands to drink. The taste is as clear and pure as wind over snow, potent as the finest wine. Above you, a shadow moves across a balcony, but when you look, it has gone. Once again, you follow the paths. On either side, the view opens up and you can see the skill that built this refuge long ago. Beautiful mansions and courts are founded deep into the rocky ledges. From some of the roofs and trees, long silken banners fly, embroidered with a star. Everywhere here is the peaceful melody of water, of nameless tiny streams and the deeper sluice of the main river. This blends with the almost ephemeral music to create a sound of dreaming enchantment. A flash of gold catches your eye. Away to the left, across a green lawn planted with summer flowers, an elf walks. He is very tall, hair the colour of melted gold in a jewel smith's crucible. 
His back is to you as he follows a path that curls upward through rock and heather. Above, you can see a ledge where a single silver birch tree strokes the wind. The elf reaches the tree and vanishes. You feel the urge to follow, to see what is up there. The path upward is laid by bark chippings that are soft underfoot. The short climb is easy. As you reach the tree, you see a small glade, emerald grass dotted with tiny blue and white flowers, and a slim waterfall that fills a clear pool. The elf is nowhere to be seen. You turn back and look over the spectacular valley, crowned like a queen by crystal curtains of water. From here, you can again see the misty mountains in the distance, their ragged peaks holding the snows of a thousand winters. It is summer here. You walk across the greensward to the pool, green as jade and floored by smooth pebbles. The sun is directly overhead and you lie down on the soft grass, closing your eyes. The glade is a sacred place, although you do not know why, only that you could lie here and be at peace forever. You smell the scents of the uplands, the fern and the moss, the crystal clear slide of water, the delicate flowers, and the herbs and roses of the gardens where it seems Summer lingers all year round. From down in the valley, wind harps catch a drift of air and play their own tune of days gone by. A voice, mellow as old gold, lifts in a song, older even than the wind. The language is strange to you, but the emotions are not. So the water falls and the elven bard sings, and the birch tree sighs into the summer wind. You absorb it all as the sun slowly crosses the sky, leaving the glade in green shadow. You open your eyes to watch a cloud like a drift of gossamer cross the intense blue of the sky. A bird wheels across your view, immense wings outstretched to cross the updrafts. Perhaps it is one of the great eagles told of in the stories of old. Twilight steals across the mountains, 
and the sun is gone down into the limitless west beyond the faraway sea. The moon now rides the sky. The sound of water deepens into the darkness, a lullaby that you will hear sleeping and waking forever. A nightingale song resonates from the woodland beyond the river and, as twilight fades to night, an owl calls. Stars appear embroidering the black sky with points of fire, white, blue and emerald red. One of them burns like a fiery white crystal. Slowly you get to your feet, knowing that in your time here you have made a place for yourself, one to return to whenever you choose. This valley and its inhabitants have welcomed you and given you the time to weave your own thread into theirs. They allowed you to this sacred glade and part of you will always be here. A hand takes yours. A ring gleams in the moonlight, wrought by the hands of the elven smiths into the design of a golden flower. Come, says a voice that has commanded armies and lifted in song and wept in tears unnumbered. You allow the elf to lead you to the pool. You notice the stars reflected on its surface as you step into the water. It feels like liquid starlight and the stars wash through you until your path takes you among them and you tread the roads of the sky. Slowly, the hand releases its grip with a until. The stars surround you, then slowly dim as if with dawn. Still you can hear, running in your blood, the fading sound of water, of song and of distant harps. You open your eyes to find yourself in the place where you first began your journey. It is the same, but you will always be different, always drawn to the music of the peaceful valley. And when it is time, you can return again. Only you know what you will see on your next journey.